Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. I have a new challenge for you guys. This one's going to be called the Remix Challenge. For this, you can remix 1-1 one, one of Super Mario Bros. 1. You can also do 1-1 one, one from Super Mario Bros. 3. You can do Yoshi's Island 1 from Super Mario World. And finally, Acorn Plains 1 from New Super Mario Bros. U. In the description below, there'll be links to some cool layout pages where you can see how these levels are made nice and easy, as well as a link to a form where you submit your levels. There's great ones for Mario 1, Mario 3, and Super Mario World. However, I couldn't find a good layout for New Super Mario Bros. U, but I did find a video playthrough that could help you. I am going to show you some examples of the remixes I made so you can see what I'm kind of looking for. They don't have to be absolute reproductions of the levels, but you have to know what the original level was when you're playing it, and I want to see them changed up in your own little way. Now we're going to take a look at some of the remixes I've done. This first one's a Super Mario Bros. 3 one, one remix. I have the video sped up a little bit, that way we can get through this quickly and you guys can get to making your levels. There's three different ways you can get a key in this level. One's to collect the five pink coins, the other's to find the hidden keys. Since we've replaced all the Koopas with dry bones, I added a thwomp here that could hit that block so you could get the raccoon suit. Parts of this will look very familiar for you if you're familiar with Mario 3. Here we can fly up to the top, replace the clouds with skull platforms, and if you go in this pipe just like in the original level, you'll find the three made out of coins. One of the coins is replaced with the key. That's one of the other ways you can finish the level. There's the final door we'll go through, but we'll show you how to get the other keys here. Normally there's a P-switch in this block right up here. If you don't have the raccoon suit, you can have the thwomp help you out there. You don't want to trap yourself between the ghost and the blocks there like I just did. Here's another one of the coins hidden. There's more Koopa Troopas replaced with dry bones. We found the other key. Now we can go back to the end of the level. Once we get through here, we go through the door and we finish up the level. So the ending's changed just a bit. Just a little bit of a dramatic effect there. And then Mario runs off the stage. Last Christmas season, I did Christmas levels and I made my own. This is a 1-1 one, one remix, but it's got snow falling from the sky. A lot of the pipes have blocks of ice frozen so you can't enter them. Lots of the bricks are frozen over too, so you can't hit some of the bricks you could before. There was also custom music on this one of Silent Night. This will actually be really cool because the next couple remixes will all be of 1-1 one, one from Super Mario Bros. 1, so you can see just how different these levels can be. For the next one, we have Bowser's 1-1 one, one Remix. This is that same level I just played, except remixed with a Bowser-type castle theme. So all the enemies have been replaced with something more scary. Here's a little bonus area where you get to be Sonic the Hedgehog, apparently. Once you come back out, you find the hidden Luigi costume. I changed where it dropped you off here, because I didn't want people to skip through the whole level real quick like you can typically do in 1-1. One, one. I still kept the hidden one-up mushroom back there. As you can see, all the enemies are a lot more intimidating now, and there's fire bars everywhere. This was made back before keys and locked doors were available, so the boss fights were a little more limited to what you could do. But here at the end, I made a little boss fight. Here's a fake flag, just like the original 1-1. One, one. But now we have this new section here where we have a little mini boss fight. All you have to do is collect the star before you die, fly up the clown car, jump on the axe, and finish the level. And I will show you one more 1-1 one, one remix from Mario 1 here. This one I used the 30th Anniversary Amiibo. And this is just big 1-1, one, one, so everything is gigantic. I made it auto-scrolling as well to add a challenge to it. I think back when I made the level, the level seemed just a little bit too easy, playing it standard. We still have the typical bonus area of 1-1. One, one. When we come out on this one, we actually can skip some of the level. When Mario tries to jump up these, to jump up and grab the flagpole, he destroys all the blocks, enters the castle, and finishes the level. I'm allowing one submission per person, and it has to be a remix of one of the four levels I mentioned earlier in the video. Check the description below for links that might help you lay out your levels. Can't wait to check out what you guys come up with. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.